Warm greeting to one and all here. Today we are going to discuss about the concept of percentage. Percentage. Percentage is a very simple chapter. Percentage means what after every hundred. Basically we know this thing like what is a fraction. Fraction simply means P by Q format the number which is in the format of p by q that is what numerator upon denominator that part we called it as like a fraction now if any fraction whose denominator is 100 then this fraction is known as percentage so x upon 100 we can say it as x percent where x is called rate of percent where x is called rate of percent. So, this total terminology I will be saying it as x percentage. Now, let us see one questions on basic of percentage. At an election where there are two candidates A and B. A got 60% of votes and he is elected by a majority of 400 votes. Calculate the total number of votes recorded. My dear student, here we have to calculate how many total number of the votes are there. If you are going to concentrate on this question at an election where there are two candidates, candidate A and candidate B. A and B. A got 60 percent of the votes. That means A got 60 percent of votes and B got how many percent of the votes? Obviously, it is what? 40 percent of the votes. How 40 percentage of the votes? Because 100 percent. From 100, if A is getting 60 percent, then obviously B will be getting 40 percent. Now, elected by uh, votes and he is elected by a majority of 400 of votes. That means A candidate got 400 and votes? No, obviously not. A got 400 more votes. A got 400 more votes. So, so, what is the difference between their votes? It's what's 400. Difference is denoted by this minus. So, that I will be saying it is like 400 votes. 400 votes. Now, what we have to calculate? Calculate the total number of votes recorded. Total number of votes recorded. So, let us consider the total number of the votes recorded is x. Now, if a is getting 60 percent of x, B is getting 40 percent of X. So, difference is that 400. So, can I say something like that? This is what 60 X upon 100 minus 40 X upon 100 which is equals to 400. Now, if you, if you will be solving it, then you will be getting as 20 X upon 100 which is equals to 400. Now, when you will be solving this, you will be getting answer as x is equals to 400 into 100 divided by 20. This 0, there is 0 cancel. 2 ones are 2, 2, 5 is 10, 5 fours are 20 and again 2, 0, 2000 is what the answer of this question. This is what your first question. So, how many total number of the votes recorded? 2000 is what total number of votes recorded. Now, this is what the questions. Now, we can say it as like what is 60 percent of 2000? That is what total number of votes A will be getting. What is 40 percent of 2000? Whatever the number of votes will be there that B will be getting. So, in this way, this is what the percentage of very simple questions which are on percentage.
something. This question is depending on the same pattern. Now let us see how to solve this question also. Now the question I am reading. In an election of Rampur village, there are two candidates for election, Mr. Smith and Mr. Jones. Mr. Smith lose the election by 670 votes and he got 45% of the votes. Calculate the total number of the votes recorded. Now, my dear students, this is what the questions. Now, in questions, we are given only one side of Mr. Smith's, okay? And he is loose. He is loser in this election committee. Now, let us see how to get answer. First of all, we have to break the questions. Why I am telling this thing? Because if we are breaking the questions and if we are solving the logic of that question, then answer is very, very much easy. Now, let us see how. In an election of Rampur village, there are two candidates for election. For election, how many candidates? Two candidates. Which are they? Mr. Smith and Mr. Jones. So, I am writing down Smith and Jones. Mr. Smith lose election by 670 votes. Who is a loser here? Mr. Smith. How many less votes he got? 670 less votes he got. This is what? Sign for less. Less votes. That means Mr. Smith haven't got 670 votes. He got 670 less number of the votes. Now, what question is telling to us? Mr. Smith lose election by 670 votes and he got 45% of the votes. Calculate the total number of the votes recorded. Calculate the total number of votes recorded. Here we have to calculate total number of the votes recorded. Let us consider total number of votes recorded is X. Now here, Mr. Smith is lose election by 670 votes and he got 45% of the votes. So can I say Mr. Smith got 45% of the votes? Yes, obviously. If candidate Smith got 45% of the votes, obviously candidate Jones will be getting how many percent of the votes? That is what? 45, okay, 100% of the votes minus 45% of the votes, that is what? 55% of the votes. This is what the question. Now, suppose Smith is having this 670 less votes. He got 45% of the votes and Jones is got getting 55% of the total number of the votes. And total number of votes is X. So, this is what? 45% of X. Now, this is what? 670. Smith is getting less 670 votes and obviously Jones will be getting more 670 votes. So, can I say something like the difference between their votes is 670? Okay. So, we have understood this phenomena. Now, let us see how to get answer for this questions. Now, here we are having these things. So, can I say this is what? 55 x upon 100 minus 45 x upon 100 is equal to this 670 difference is equal to 670 670 now i am arranging this 55 x minus 45 x upon 100 what is answer it is 10x upon 100 is equal to the difference of their votes is 670 votes. So, what is the value of x? x is equal to 670 multiplied by 100 divided by 10. Why? Because this is denominator. This, If we want to solve this value for the x, then this 100 will be going this side and then this is in multiplication, this is will be going towards this side. So, this is what cancellations and finally, we are getting total value of the votes, that is total number of the votes recorded, which is nothing but 6700. So, in the Rampur village, how many votes were there? 600 and 6700 volts. So, this is what how to tackle with this kind of the questions. 
Now let us concentrate towards the next part of the question. This question is quite different as compared to the first question, but the concept is same. Let us see how. I am reading the question, concentrate kindly. Ganesh gives 20% of salary to his parents, 10% of salary to his brother and 30% of salary to girlfriend and at the last he left with he left with rupees 8000 calculate the total salary of ganesh now in this question we have to break the salary amount in percentage wise as well as in rupees wise but we don't have rupees we don't have the complete rupees so how we will be breaking it's a very big question in front of us just we are having the knowledge of the questions that in terms of percentage only that is 20 percent salary going to give his parents 10 percent salary to his brother and 30 percent salary to his girlfriend and at the last he left with rupees 8000 calculate the total salary of Mr. Ganesh or Ganesh. Now let us see how to solve these questions. Now first of all what we have to consider the total salary of Mr. Ganesh is 8000. It is wrong if we are considering. Then what is correct? The total salary. This is what a remaining salary na? after giving to parent, after giving to girlfriend, after giving to his brother. 8000 he will be left with. Now what is the total salary? The total salary is X. Okay. Total salary of Ganesh we need to find that we have considered X. Now read towards the first line. Ganesh give 20% of salary to parents. How many percent of salary he goes go give to parents? 20%. That means from the total he is giving 20% of total. That means 20% of X giving to parents. Next, 10% salary to his brother, 10% of X to whom he is giving to brother. Next, what is that? 30% salary to girlfriend. He is giving 30% salary to girlfriend. 30% of X to girlfriend. Now, at the last, he left with 8,000. At the last, he left with 8,000. Now, he gives amount. 20% to parent, 10% to brother, 30% to girlfriend. And he is left with what? He is left with rupees 8,000. He is left with 8,000. Now, dear student, according to percent, how many percent he left with? I will tell you, 20% parent, 10% brother, 30% girlfriend, total percentage is what? 100%? Yes. Okay. Total percentage is what? 100%. 20 plus 10 plus 30, 30 plus 20, 50, 50 plus 10, 60. That is means 60% from 100% he gave and he left with 8000 so can i say 40% he will be left with why because 20 plus 30 plus 10 will be 60 and 100 minus 60 will be 40% so this is what 40 x upon 100 now from this from this can i calculate the value of x yes it is possible let us see how this is what 40 x upon 100 which is equal to 40x upon 100 which is equals to 8000. Now simply if we have to solve this then we can do one thing x is equals to 8000 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100 divided by this 40. Now what answer x is equals to 2000 multiplied by 10 that is what x is equals to 20,000. That means this is X is what? Total salary of Ganesh. This is what? The second questions. Now I am repeating the part. I am repeating the part of this question once again. See student, I am repeating it. 
Ganesh gives 20% of of salary salary to to his his parents, 10% of salary to his brother and 30% of salary to girlfriend. And at the last he left with rupees 8,000. Calculate the total salary of Ganesh. We have considered total salary of Ganesh is X. As we have considered total salary of Ganesh is X. So 20% he is giving to parent, 10% to his brother and 30% to girlfriend. Now, if we are doing the total, we get to know this is what 20 plus 30, 50, 50 plus 10, 60. 60% 60 from 100, we are subtracting it. We are left with 40x upon 100, which is what left salary rupees 8000. And we are equating 40x upon 100 with 8000. That is what remaining salary. And finally, we are getting the values of x is what rupees 20,000. I hope you have understood these questions. In this video, we have dealt with the questions which are on the basic of percentage. But here, it is like that, it is not end. Why? Because so many questions are there on percentage. For more videos, you will be, you have to vet it. Now, we will see the next part of percentage in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.